Breaking news this hour from the Bank of Canada. The bank making its final rate decision of this year, raising the key benchmark to 50 basis points. Joining me now is Sheila Block. She's a senior economist at the Canadian Centre for Policy Alternatives. Sheila, good morning. So we knew it was coming. Um, half a percentage, what do you think? What's your reaction? Um, it's deeply concerning. Um, this is the seventh rate hike we've seen since March. We are already seeing um, the pain of these interest rate hikes um, really working their way through the economy. And um, I, I guess I had been hoping for the lower number, which was that 25 basis points that uh, people were thinking might have uh, um, might have occurred today. I think you're not alone. A lot of people were hoping for that. How much of a difference do you think this will make when it comes to bringing down Canada's inflation rate? Well, the problem with this is that um, it, much of the inflation in Canada is due to factors external, outside of uh, those that are affected by these rate hikes. So the Russian uh, invasion of Ukraine, climate change impact, on, um, on food and other prices really mean that there's a very narrow group of uh, prices that are affected by these interest rate increases. And the slowdown that we've seen in the housing market and uh, the decreases in consumer spending that we saw in uh, the GDP numbers uh, last month really are telling us that the impacts have already begun to work through. And um, this is not going to, the cure is going to be worse than what ails us. And just yesterday we heard from Equifax that more Canadians were relying on their credit cards um, for basic items. So how, uh, what's your sense then about further rate hikes? So we haven't heard from the Bank of Canada yet. We don't know if this is it for now, if they're going to take a pause. But what's your sense as we go into the new year? Well, my hope is that um, that this will be a pause. And there had been some uh, signals from the Bank of Canada and from the governor that, that this might be the last rate hike. And perhaps um, they went for this larger rate hike uh, in the hopes that this would be the last one, um, but time will tell. And of course, there's that delicate balancing act of trying to cool inflation but not bring on a recession, yet many economists are still predicting that for 2023. What do you see in the future? I absolutely see that the hopes of a soft landing um, have been crushed now. Um, what we're already seeing a slowdown, these further rate increases really are going to tip us into recession. And what that means is you know, more pain. Uh, more pain from job losses, um, and uh, it's going to be tough times. It's going to be a tough 2023, I think. Sheila, thank you so much. Sheila Block is an economist at the Canadian Centre for Policy Alternatives.